Hi, I'm Casey and I don't know what I'm doing. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different than I've done before. I don't know that anyone has noticed or cared, but I'm no longer doing TBRs on this channel. They're not <laughs> helpful for me in the slightest. I'm very much a mood reader. They just end up making me feel disappointed and frustrated at myself for not reading the things that I set out for myself weeks ago that I'm no longer interested in, so I'm not doing it anymore. But what I wanted to do was get to some of these books on this desk and on some of my other shelves that I have just never made time for. And more so ones that I can't see myself making time for right now. So we're gonna start doing something on this channel that I'm tentatively calling What's in the Box. I have this lovely little, it's a dice box actually, that I got for my birthday this year. I set this in the reading room here because I thought it was a cute little decoration but I had no idea what I was gonna do for it. And then I had this idea. So what we have is in here, I have several pieces of paper that I've either written a book or a prompt on. There are more books in here than there are prompts because I think that prompts are really fun, but they're not entirely conducive to me getting to some of the books that I can just tell I'm not gonna make time for if I don't sort of force them into my reading. So we're going to take this, shake the shit out of it and mix them all up. And then I'm going to draw, right now I think I'm going to draw two out of here. I don't think I'm going to do any more today, but this could easily be something I do a couple times a month on my channel or that I draw more from in future videos, depending on how successful this is. So let's shake it up again for good luck just to get it going. Okay, so without further ado, let's see what's in the box. Here is our first one. Oh, awesome. This is a book and I have drawn Viva Negativa by Daniel Hornsby. I don't know if you can see that. Hold on. Me. So here we have Viva Negativa by Daniel Hornsby. I think I might have talked about this one a little bit in like after Christmas book haul. I picked this up randomly from our local bookstore. So I'm going to read the back for you and also for me because I've forgotten everything about this except it's got a coyote in it. Father Dan is homeless. Dismissed by his conservative diocese for eccentricity and insubordination, this churchless priest has made his exile into a kind of pilgrimage, transforming his to Toyota Camry into a mobile monk's cell. Then he sees a minivan sideswipe a coyote. Unable to suppress his Franciscan impulses, he takes in the injured animal. I'm not going to read any more of the back because I don't want to spoil anything for myself. If I recall correctly, this is going to get a little bit wild and a little bit silly. So I think this should be a fun read and I'm excited. Thank you, box. I'm the one who put everything in the box. Okay. Let's do this again. Shake the shit out of it. Okay, I have a prompt. Okay, this is fun. I was kind of hoping that this would happen. Um, so my prompt that I wrote down is that the spine is a different color than the cover. And what I mean by that, let me do like a quick example, is that um, I have several books that are like, you know, like this, where it's like this black and this green and it follows the same kind of color scheme onto the, onto the spine, or it's the exact same, um, picture, not the exact same, but it's a, it's the same picture from, um, cover to spine to back cover. And what I wanted was something different than that. Um, I thought it would get me through some of my stuff. Oh, I already see one on my shelves here, but I'm going to come over here because this is the pile I made. So, come with me. Okay, the next one I have, 
was not one I was anticipating doing this month, but it fit the prompt, so we're gonna do it. It is Song of the Shank by Jeffrey Renard Allen. Um, I got this at the library sale, like I think the last day they were having it, so it was like really, really cheap. Um, I don't know anything about this, so let's read this. At the heart of this remarkable novel is Thomas Green Wiggins, a 19th century slave and improbable musical genius who performed under the name Blind Tom. Okay, so this is going to be some historical fiction. I'm going to skip the second paragraph here. As the novel ranges from Tom's boyhood to the heights of his performing career, the inscrutable savant is buffeted by opportunistic teachers and crooked managers, crackpot healers, and militant prophets. Okay. Oh, it's got, uh, this might be a little magical realism as well, because it says fantastical invention. Okay. Okay. This could be interesting. And it's got a nice, fun rainbow cover. And then you can see here that the spine is this brown. And I know technically it's this brown all the way around, but we're just going to deal with it. Um, okay. Those are our two books that we are going to read. I say we, it's me. Those are my two books that The Box and Fate picked out for me to read this month. I'm honestly excited to add these to the pile right now. Mostly I'm excited to get some more books off of my shelves. Um, this was really fun for me and I hope you enjoyed this as well. Um, do all the algorithm things if you want, if you are watching this and you think of other fun prompts or if you see some books on this shelf or anywhere over here that you think should be added to the box, just let me down, let, let me know down in the comments below. Okay, bye.